Yes. It's very common to experience feelings of guilt after such a traumatic accident. Hallucinations can also be associated with extreme stress. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Yes. I'll have my secretary make him an appointment, and she'll call you later on today. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Are you in with me tomorrow? Yeah, uh, I think I'm in all day. Good. We've got an interesting case coming in, and I want you to have a look at him. Okay, then, sure. Oh, here. Have a look at this girl, Joan Tilly. We've been treating her for years for delusional paranoid schizophrenia. She's been on 25 milligrams of clozapine for the past year now, but her symptoms are still getting worse. <laughs> yeah. She's actually just outside. Can you call her in? Joan Tilly? Hi, I'm Nick. I'm a fourth year medical student, and I'll be seeing you with you and Dr. Cross today, if that's okay. Yeah. Great. Sorry? I didn't say anything. spend time with the family. What's the real reason you're here? Who's Machiavelli? Hey babe. Alright, so I'm going to this gig tonight and it's gonna be so good. Anna's going and, and Julia, you know Julia, and Keith said you might go. How much? How much what? I'm really busy, hey babe. How much money do you want? 30. Thanks. I'd love to stay and chat, but you said you were busy and I've got to get ready, so I'll speak to you soon. Thanks. So the voices are back. Is it the same voices? Yeah. What do you mean? That they won't stop. They, they don't stop. Can you hear them now? Yeah. I'm, I'm so tired. Okay, Joan. Well, from what you're telling me, it sounds like the schizophrenia is getting worse. The drug that you're on now isn't doing the job. But the important thing is that you still have good insight as to what's going on. This is perfectly explainable with your illness, that you can hear more or fewer voices during certain periods of time. These changes are symptoms that we see in schizophrenia. What we need to do now is find you a drug that will treat these symptoms more effectively. I thought you said the clozapine was the most effective drug you had. It is, but there is a new drug that has just come out on the market. It's a little bit more expensive, but I think in your case we need to try it. How does that sound? Yeah, Mom, come in.
Are you going to come down for dinner soon? Uh. So I spoke to your neurologist today on the phone and she said that there's no reason for you to be having so many seizures. Especially since you haven't had one for so long. Uh. So they recommended that you go to see a psychiatrist. Right. Well, I called her today. Her name's Dr. Cross. She comes highly recommended and she said she'd be willing to see you tomorrow. No, I'm not going to go. Anthony, please. No. Anthony, I'm starting to get worried about you. You've been in this room for like two weeks since the memorial. You're not eating right. You're, not, you're barely sleeping. You spend all your time on that computer. I don't really know what to do anymore. Mom, I'm not okay. No, you're not okay. I know it's hard for you. It's been hard for all of us since your father's gone. I miss him too, but I feel like I'm missing you as well. A yes? Okay. Hey, babe. What are you doing here? I thought you said you were going to a gig tonight. I didn't go because I was a bitch and keeps a lying bastard. So, what happened? Well, me and Q started seeing each other last week and he said that he was going to spend all night hanging out with me. But I know that bitch started dancing with him. And then he just wouldn't say anything to me or look at me all night. He was just ignoring me to be with her. You know what? It actually doesn't matter. Forget Keith. <laughs> He's not worth it. <laughs> Thanks. I always feel so much better when you listen to me. It's okay. Look, I need to go somewhere, alright? I'll be back later. Okay. What are you doing over there? Been staring at that screen all night. Reading that paper you were telling me about. What paper? That Carl the Morgan guy's paper? Ah, oh, yeah, what do you think? It's incredible. I've been looking up his work all night. I feel like I've just completely wasted my time learning these lame little party tricks. What do you mean? I mean, the potential for this thing is huge. We joked about it before, but I'm seriously starting to think I can do all that crazy shit in the comics. Whoa, I mean, you're not gonna try and jump off a building and fly. To anything. You know, it's as simple as understanding the logic behind the reactions. And once I can do that, it's just thinking what I want to do. You didn't ever think that there might be others like you. I mean, what? Don't worry, I mean, let's go see what you can do.
just to please him. 